Hey guys, welcome back to Chatman's Videos. Uh, this is a mail call day. I went down to the U.S. border today. Uh, I had to go fill up my uh, my car because gas in <laughs> Vancouver is crazy expensive. It's uh, for those of you in Eastern Canada or other parts of Canada not in Vancouver. Our gas is 162 per liter, and uh, and an equivalent to U.S. dollars, you're look uh, consider five dollars and twenty cents per gallon U.S. So that's just mind-blowingly crazy. So I actually drive down literally just to get gas. It's a half-hour drive, but it was good timing because uh, I got some arrivals for pickup and uh, snag those and let's let's see what we got in the mail I think this is going to be pretty cool uh, so I know what, for sure I know what's in this box and I, it is my last piece of the my Wing Hanu collection nicely bubble wrapped and Ooh, nicely taped as well. I really appreciate the care taken to ship these. I mean, bubble wrap boxes, uh, things. But sometimes it does make it a little hard to open. So this is the last set that I was looking for. Uh, and it is the uh, Freedom Custom Kit. Adjust the light. Just see if I can zoom in and get a better look at what this kit's supposed to look like. So uh, I've got the custom parts now. <laughs> I don't have an HG uh, Freedom Gundam, so I will have to be buying this kit to go with it. And if you haven't seen my other unboxing videos, uh, I do have actually right here. Sorry, I was running around on a whim. So this, uh, I think this was the last, the newest one and the last one. Let's see. 2015 October. 2015 in May. And 2014 May. So, um, all three kits uh, for the... Wing Hanu Customs. Really cool. Very happy with those. Okay, next box. Let's see what we got in here. I, I'm expecting... I was expecting a total of four, I think maybe five kits. And so here's three. Oh yeah. All right. So this was, in my last video, I was talking about some Gundam Pro Shop stuff. And here this, here it is. This is the White Build Akatsuki Gundam. Uh, wow, this guy's taking really good care of it. I'm not going to unbox it today, so that's what this cover looks like. The unique factor for this kit is a customized rifle. Um, it looks very much like the Seed Astray series HG kits, the green Astray. It looks like that gun and it's got these uh, almost like a revolver kind of setup where you can plug all sorts of beam sabers in. <laughs> the blades in and it looks really funky that way but uh, based on what I can see right now from the picture of the handle it looks like the uh, seeds uh, the seed estrays series HG kit there is an estray green frame and that's what that gun looks like I can't really see it there but that's the unique thing I think um, that looks like the build build strike full package 
backpack and then just the white HG Seed Akatsuki. Um, I guess there's different ways to paint it. There's a red and gold way, a pink, white and green way, and a Titans uh, production color way. Uh, I'll give you guys a better look when I do the unboxing video of this. I'll take it out of the bag and we'll look at the pieces and study that together. So that's pretty cool. I have my one more kit coming, which is the uh, crazily heavily armed uh, Dynamis or Dynamis kit. And it's insane. Same same designer, um, the Meijin Kawaguchi, the real one, the real deal. Well, it's not actually Meijin Kawaguchi, but um, that's where the Kawaguchi name came from. Um, last box. I'm pretty sure it's not the Dynamis, but I could be wrong. I'm. I hope I'm not wrong because oh, how do we, ooh, nice box this guy used a really nice box oh, oh man it is this is disappointing I was expecting something else I was expecting my Shield Graze kit because apparently that's supposed to have been delivered and it's not at my mailbox so I have to investigate what's going on with that now. Um, well, as disappointing as it is, uh, this is not a disappointment at all. This is what I was talking about. My third of the Bandai Pro Shop um, Gunpla kits. And when I told you it was heavily armed, I really wasn't joking. As you can see here, we have a two, four, six barrel Gatling gun, four barrel Gatling gun, bazooka, sword, sniper rifle, sword, and another, um, it's like a shoulder mounting cannon that the Astrea used. So... <laughs> pretty insane uh, a dynamis kit I will be doing an unboxing for this as well overall uh, as far as I was able to determine there were only three kits this one the easy SR Maxima and then the white Akatsuki uh, he still comes with his armor shroud to go uh, like the original dynamis but he just has an insane, uh, obscene amount of weapons. And uh, this is just gonna be vicious to build. What a kit to display. Um, so I hope you guys see that and uh, are excited to check this out just as much as I am to, uh, to build it and uh, eventually have it built and displayed. All right, so yeah, sorry. I was, I'm kind of disappointed because I'm expecting my P-Bandai Shield Grays set and uh, that's what I thought this was going to be. I have to check the tracking on that and uh, see what happened to it and where it is. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll keep you posted on it. Uh, this was just a very quick, impromptu video. Um, just made, literally, I just made it because I just got home. And I'm going to upload it right now. Anyways, uh, I'd love to get your comments and feedback on what you think of the kits that I've got. And uh, I'll get to cracking on some of my other kits. And hopefully I'll get to these very soon. Thanks so much for watching, see you soon.